Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Unreal Engine Open World series. So here, now we have some issues, still we haven't finished properly the aim of set part with the bow and arrow. So when I go here, you can see some snapping kind of this happens. Uh, still we need to fix this. So yeah, that I found out that uh, here in the uh, when we add upper body rotation to the aim of set and blend it with the uh, previous animations uh, here we have an option called mesh space rotation bend blend so if it is not that then it happens in the bone space I think so when I enable that you can see most of the problems are gone no not yet but it oh yeah let me show one more thing here if I break this and compile you can see the character is aiming straight if this is not enabled character is same in sideways so that's the importance of mesh space rotation blend now I didn't knew about that before so therefore I was trying to add some stuff like this some offset to the yo of the upper body rotation in here so now I can get rid of them so this 60 is actually to add 60 to 0 and this is 360 plus 60 so this should be 360 and it's well we don't really have to add anything here oh, we might but not yet so now it works clean like this see it doesn't have any snapping actually it has one when I do it like this but so far it, uh, it's better than what we had before so we have to align it with four up and down but this is mostly good right now let's continue to work on this so yeah to properly align Oh, this arrow oh, what can we do let's try some trick so this is where we basically calculate the aim in rotation so this is here this is how we get the target rotation uh, if this is the player character we simply return the control rotation so instead of doing that let's override this uh, get control rotation function in the player character so get target rotation so instead of this uh, let's let's add a small object into the middle of the camera because I need to see if uh, that object is aligning with the reticle so let's add uh, cube and it should not have any collision no collision let's make it small like this and where is that cube Uh, 
can't see that. Let's see. Okay, let's make it large. All right, it's inside the character. Ah, okay, yeah, that's the one. All right, yeah, it is aligning with the reticle. Then, in this get target rotation, let's get this. Uh, Let's call it Radical Cube. Not a good name, but let's use it for now and get world location. Then from the right hand socket of the character where's the hand socket this is left hand okay hand socket right from the hand socket let's get world location then find look at rotation from the hand to this uh, reticle cube then let's return that Okay, so I guess the problem is not in the in the way we calculate the rotation, but rather it's in the aim offset asset. Okay, but we can do something else uh, here in the arrow can change the rotation of the arrow also but could that be a problem no let's not change the arrow rotation uh, let's try to fix that with the uh, within the aim offset itself because it's quite good yeah at the moment okay in the aim offset let's see I can set the where's the hand socket we can check the world rotation of the hand socket right hand And yeah, arrow socket. Okay. So if I change, oh, is there a way to see the 
world rotation arrow socket is attached to the right hand ah, right so i can check that in the right hand right uh, let's take this code like me sign as a reference because here we can see perfect right angle in here so let's make it large and let's open the center AO center animation and when I look at the animation at the from the back angle it is like this so that means I need to change it slightly so let's grab from the right hand and switch to world rotation align it like this apply okay let's go to top view and here well I can't use this for that yeah we need another overlay but I'll do that offline because there is nothing much to show just to check if the arrow alignment is correct in the animations that's what I am trying to do here all right so this is what I did I yeah let me put that again I created a reference image like this and I selected all of these uh, I owe all of these animations in the aim offset so AO up AO right up AO left AO down and everything I properly aligned the this arrow to uh, these targets so this is directly uh, the, here the arrow is directly looking upward and when we look at the same animation in this way it is also directly looking upward similarly I did corrected all the animations so if we look at this in the top view now you can see this arrow is perfectly to the uh, left so that's what I did and after that here is the result so it's better than what we had before so after this point character is not rotating anymore so we need to add a rot turn in animation for that point but other than that it looks pretty good see okay so now I think uh, I'll stop this episode right here uh, so in future also I'm gonna continue on this topic because I want to want it to be perfect because uh, this yeah basically I want it to be perfect because when we walk you can see there are problems here if you look at the hip there this is not normal when we walk in this way it's okay walk back and this way it's not okay so we need to work on that right so let's see how to do that 
and let's continue to work on this in future too and thanks for watching so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and also the project files will be available for download in the patron page and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye